Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back of his teardown lab. Today we've got something a little bit different, really. It's not what we're used to seeing. It's not particularly electronic, but uh, it is interesting in its own right. And it's it's got an interesting ye olde technology here. It's a music box. Well, it's the music maker out of a music box. It's a weird tune, I'm not really sure what this tune is. So, you've got a wheel here, which has lots of pins, and they're clearly hitting these. I'm just going to move the mic so you can get a better sound. That's really, there's not much to it really. The, the gear here clearly spins this round at a certain speed and that twangs off these sort of almost like um, tuning forks, aren't they? These are all tuned. But the bit I wanted to show you that's kind of interesting and kind of a little bit high tech about this because there is a high tech element and it's how they must go about tuning these. So you can see you've got the metal here and they're actually thicker. It goes thick, thin, thick and then there's a piece here that looks like it's been machined out. So let's have a closer look. We're going to have to open this up. Fortunately that was no way nearly as tight as I was expecting it. These look like they might actually have a bit of play on them. They must, so you can move this around to sort of tune it to make it nearer. The musically wheelie coggy thing. So that's better. Now you can actually see the profile. I was trying to describe it so ineloquently before. So it's a strange wedge shape here. It's definitely a valley, and these bits get proinged. But this really does look, when you look closely at it, I don't know if we can get any closer. Yeah. It really looks like it's been almost laser etched away, or it's certainly, there's certainly some technology's been used to just sort of remove this material. I think it's it's more high tech probably than a Dremel. It really could have been a laser. Perhaps something does twang these and then somebody or a machine just sort of etches this away to tune it. Can't hear anything at all now. It's not sort of screwed down. So if we pop that back on, there's another interesting phenomena I noticed. And that's, you know, when you think of something like a guitar, oops, sorry about the focus. If you think of something like a guitar, you know, it's got that big, weird back on it, not an electric guitar, an acoustic one. And we all know that the body of a guitar or a violin or any of those sorts of instruments are designed to make the sound louder because it resonates. And the same applies for these. So. If I just put this back on, we might need to make a final adjustment here. Yeah. Seems close enough, doesn't it? Let's tighten that up. Now I can't really tell how loud this is. But I'm going to assume it's, it's pretty quiet. So I've got to the side of me here a box. It's just an empty metal project box. Pop it on the top. And here's 
hear the difference? It's just a huge difference just by putting that on the side of this. I don't know if we put it on the, an edge, if it makes any difference in terms of it. Oh, that's even louder. What else can we do with this? How about a, oops, speed run. Oh, I think that's probably about as much experimentation as you can do with one of these, but they're, they're really cool. I would, I think um, with the right 3D printer and uh, printing files, you could probably 3D print these. In fact, I'm really sure you could. Someone probably has. No, oh, you can. You can see there's a sort of one-way mechanism on this. So it can't go the wrong way. And then you'll have a wind-up on some of these inside those jewellery boxes of the ballerina. So I hope that's of some use to you, some interest. Please feel free to comment down below or ask any questions. Click subscribe if you're so way inclined. And as ever, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.